Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on predicting the outcome value in regression using the estimated regression equation. For this example, I'll be using fictitious data in SPSS. And I have here four variables. One is an ID variable, the first variable. And you can see here I have 100 records. And I have three continuous variables, anxiety, substance use, and depression. So let's assume for this regression that we are using the independent variable anxiety and the independent variable substance use to predict a score on the depression variable. So we have here what we'll consider the actual values for depression and I'll use SPSS to calculate the predicted values for depression and then I'll use the estimated regression equation as well to calculate those predicted values. So I'm going to move into the regression. I'm not going to test the assumptions for regression here. I have other videos that cover that. I'm just going to go to Analyze, Regression, and Linear. And here you can see we have Dependent and Independent. For Independent, I'm going to move over Anxiety and Substance Use two predictor variables, two independent variables. And then for the dependent or outcome variable, I'm going to move over depression. Under statistics, I'm going to add R squared change. Under plots, I'm not going to make any changes. Under save, the only change I'm going to make is I'm going to add the unstandardized predicted values here. So I'll check that off. Click continue no changes under options, and no changes under style. I'll click OK. And you can see we have the output here for this regression. We have an R value of 0.634. It's statistically significant. R square is 0.402. So just about 40% of the variance in the outcome variable can be attributed to the independent variables. I'll come back in a moment to talk about how this number is calculated, the 0.634, the R value. Moving down, we can see we have a statistically significant result here for ANOVA. And then I'm going to move to coefficients. The values in this table will allow us to calculate the estimated regression equation. And I'll bring that up here. and I produced it in Excel. So you can see it's Y, the predicted value of the outcome variable, and sometimes you'll see this as y hat. So it'll be y, I don't have a caret over it, y hat, equals beta 0, that's the y-intercept, plus beta 1 times x1. So beta 1 is the slope, and x1 is the observation. And this extends for as many variables as you have. In this case, I'm just showing two independent variables. So it's beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x2. So let's match these values up in SPSS. In the coefficients table, you can see we have constant. Here under unstandardized coefficients, you have beta. This 12.993, that's beta 0. That is the y-intercept. Then for anxiety, we have 0.216. That is beta 1. That is the slope for anxiety. And for substance use, we have beta 2 here, 0.545. That's the slope for substance use. So with these values and the values from the data editor, we can calculate the predicted value of y. Now, when I was going through the regression procedure, I checked off unstandardized predicted values. So we can see here that SPSS returned a new variable, PRE underscore 1, and it contains the predicted values. So for example here, the depression variable for this record 1001, the depression score is 51, but using the estimated regression equation, the predicted value would be 56.62. 
So these values are automatically generated by SPSS using that feature I checked off in the regression dialog. But how can we produce a new variable with the outcome values using the estimated regression equation? So first I'm going to move to transform, then compute variable. And the target variable I'm going to name predicted value. So I'll type that where it says target variable. Then, then we have the numeric expression. So bringing the output back, we're going to want to recognize the value here of the constant and beta 1 and beta 2. So beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. So the first value will be the constant. And that's 12.993. That's the y-intercept. Then I want to add beta 1, the slope, times x1, which would be the observation for anxiety. So it's going to be open parentheses, then 0.216, or beta 1, shift 8 for the asterisk, and then the anxiety variable. Close parentheses. Then I'm going to add beta 2 times x2, or the value for substance use. So plus, open parentheses, the beta 2 value is 0.545, shift 8 for asterisk, and then substance use, and close parentheses. So we can see here 12.993 plus 0.216 times anxiety plus 0.545 times substance use, consistent what we have here in the coefficients table, beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. So this will create a new variable named predicted value using this numeric expression. Click OK. And then we have this new variable predicted value. Now you'll notice for the predicted value that SPSS generated, there are five digits to the right of the decimal displayed. And for the variable I created, there are just two. I'm just going to go to the variable view and change the decimals column for predicted value to five instead of two. And you'll notice that the predicted value from SPSS and the predicted values in the estimated regression equation are close to one another, but they're not identical. And that's because of the level of precision used in the equation. So going back to output here, for example, with the constant displayed here for beta 0 is 12.993. But if we take a, another look here, it's actually 12.993020. And similarly, for beta 1, instead of 0.216, it's actually 0.216340. And for beta 2.545433. I just used three digits to the right of the decimal because that's what's displayed here for beta 0 as well as for beta 1 and beta 2. So I mentioned earlier that I would move back here to the R value and review how this is calculated you can see we have an R value of 0.634 and we square that and we have the 40.2 percent here. So how do we arrive at this value? Where does this R value come from? So if I move back to the data editor and go to analyze, correlate, and bivariate, I'm going to run a correlation using depression the first predicted value and the predicted value using the estimated regression equation. So I'll move those variables to the variables list box here. So that's going to be depression, PRE underscore 1, and predicted value. Click OK. 
and moving back to the output we can see the results here in the correlations table the correlation between depression and the unstandardized predicted value 0.634 and we have the same correlation between the predicted value I calculated using the estimated regression equation and you can see this 0.634 matches the R value here in the model summary for the regression so this value is the correlation between the outcome variable the actual value of the outcome and the predicted value of the outcome I hope you found this video on using the estimated regression equation to be useful as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to contact me I'll be happy to assist you